Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is motives, simple motives. The hair is so pretty, but it is driving me just, oh my goodness. The scripture comes from Leviticus 12 and 6. When the days of her purification for a son or daughter are over, she is to bring to the priest at the entrance to the tent of meeting a year old lamb for a burnt offering and a young pigeon or a dove for a sin offering. He shall offer them before the Lord to make atonement for her. And then she will be ceremonial clean from her flow of blood. These are the regulations for the woman who gives birth to a boy or a girl. But if she cannot afford a lamb, she is to bring two doves or two young pigeons, one for a burnt offering and the other for a sin offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for her and she will be clean. Okay, so here's a message um, for someone... That, like God is saying, there are simple motives that he wants you to give, okay? Um, and I just feel like this is for somebody you are getting ready to... Um, there is something that you want. There is something that you desire. And you really... This is something that is very important to you. This is something that you are... Um, in need of the scripture that I'm going over is about purification after childbirth. So this is someone you have given birth to something. There is something that God has blessed you with. There is something that you, you were praying for it and you were praying for it. And you have been praying to God about this for a while and you are, and God blessed you with it. You went through the pregnancy stage. You gave birth to it. And now it is here. God says, do not waste your time. Don't drag your feet and don't crawl on your way to the altar to give thanks to him for what he has blessed you with. Don't 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 act as if, you know, you 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 were at his altar praying to him. When it was time for you to receive this blessing, you were at the altar praying to him when he put it up on your heart to start getting ready for the pregnancy for you to bring this thing into fruition. You were at the altar praying to him when you were enduring the labor pains and the enemy was attacking you from all sides. God said, don't turn your back on him now that you have received your baby and you have your blessing. Don't you dare. He said, you better come on back to the altar and give thanks to God. God said, give him thanks, give him glory. Give the thanks and the glory to God because he is the one that reached out his hand and opened the womb so that you could receive the whatever baby, whatever blessing that it is God blessed you with, regardless if it is a house, a, a business, an actual child, a marriage, a, a whatever it is. God says that he is the one that sent forth his hand for somebody healing. God said he is the one that sent stretched out his hand to fix whatever was going on. It could even be somebody like uh, that you restoration for someone. God has restored you. God said, don't turn your back on him now. And don't you go and hide from him now. He, now that you have received this blessing that you have been praying about. Now that you received this blessing you were asking for. And for some of you, you feel like you weren't asking for it and God gave it to you anyway. God said, that's fine and that's dandy. But don't you turn away from him now. He still wants you to pray just as hard as you were praying before you had it. And he still wants you to glorify him just as much as you were glorifying him at first. He still wants you to sacrifice for him the same way you were sacrificing when you didn't have it. He still wants you to be fasting for him the same way you were fasting before you had it. God said he does not want you to take heed to this now. He does not want you to get into a position to where now all of a sudden you don't care and now you're not concerned and now you're not worried. And now because God blessed you, you're not worried about praying to him no more. Now that God has blessed you, 
You don't see no need in giving thanks to God. And now that God has blessed you, you're not worried about uh, giving tithes and giving offerings and whatever it is that you do, regardless if you give your time and you um, go out and you help people, or if you give your time by preaching the word of God, or if you give, like, you literally give your time as far as money, because you know we have to work for money, and that is time. I just got a notification too. But you know, like regardless of whatever it is, God said don't get into a position so now you don't want to sow any more seeds. God said there are still plants that could possibly grow. There is still something in it. God said just because you have now received your blessing does not mean now that now you don't have to put in no work anymore and you can go ahead and you can relax and you can just put your feet up for the rest of your life. God said don't play with him like that now. Don't play with him like that now. Don't be a lukewarm Christian and the only time you pray to God and the only time you give to God and the only time you spend time with God is when your life is upside down and in shambles. God said, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Don't do that. God said, come on now. Come on back and come on back and, and do it. <laughs> whatever it is that he calls you to do you know what i'm saying i i know it's different things for different people because regardless if you are someone that you preach the word of god and you're giving to god is you literally feeding his children or if you are someone that you receive the word of god and your way of giving is by um giving through tithes and offerings or if your way of giving is by um donating your time or you know giving to the needy regardless of whatever it is that you do for god god said don't put yourself in a position to where he has blessed you and now that you have received this blessing you are acting as if you don't know him no more now that you have received this blessing you are acting as if you, you you're not worried about his opinion and you're not worried about him don't do god like that you know what i'm saying this is like you know this would be like somebody uh, basically getting something that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody that'll work at a job and they got they got their check and now all of a sudden they coming in late every day. God said, don't do me like that now. Don't do God like that now. Don't, don't, don't get yourself to a position like somebody that been chasing after somebody and now that they got the treats that they was looking, the cookies they was looking for, now they not calling and they not texting no more. God said, don't do him like that now. God said, don't, 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 don't. Don't, 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 don't do God this way, okay? And I don't know who it's for, but God said, do not do that, okay? He gave you your baby. He gave you your blessing. And don't get into a position to where you feel as though you don't need God anymore. Because even when you have a blessing, guess what? New levels, new devils. You still going to need God. You still going to need God. Even throughout, like, it, it don't, and it don't matter what the blessing is. If it's a marriage, you still going to need God because guess what? Now you have a whole nother person and they come with their own emotions, their own feelings, their own dreams, their own desires, their own attitude. They may want and, uh, and need things that you, 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 it, it, there, there, that is a stress on its own. That's a stressor on its own. So just because you got your baby don't mean that you don't need God. Just because you got your house don't mean things are just not going to break. Sometimes stuff break. And it, and it's, it don't mean nobody broke the It's it just, it, it, sometimes it go out. Washing machines eventually go out. The refrigerator may eventually, you know, you have to replace things. And you have to fixed on things and there's something i saw a video where a man was in a mansion and showed where they had water damage in there in a mansion and they just moved in god said just because you received your baby don't mean you're not gonna need god no more just because now you all of a sudden got your car another notification just because you got your car now and another one came right after that just because you got your car don't mean that all of a sudden trying to cut it off. Okay. All of a sudden that you're not going to need God no more because the car may very well break down. Okay. The, it may need an oil change and you may need this and you may need that. And it's like the tire may go, you know, like don't, don't think that just now all of a sudden, because you got your baby, you got your blessing. You don't need God no more. Just because you got your job now don't mean that you're not going to need God no more because you might very well get up to that job. And now everybody gossiping about you and they looking at you sideways. 
ways. And you got to deal with them side eyeing you. And you got somebody that's following you around trying to snitch on you. And you, your boss, now they looking at you side eye because such and such had all this to say about you. And now the boss don't like you no more. So you got to deal with that. And now you got to deal. God said. Don't think just because you got your baby, now all of a sudden you don't need him no more. Even if it is a literal baby, okay? The pregnancy is not easy. It is tough, baby. Got another notification. Pregnancy is tough. Morning sickness is a nightmare. God said you may have to go through some things where you're going to have to call on him. You're going to need his help. God said giving birth, labor and delivery is tough. And then once the baby get there, that's tough. Babies are not cheap. They are expensive. God said said don't act as if don't act brand new and act like just because he has blessed you with what you have been praying for that all of a sudden you no longer need God in your life don't turn your back on God now this is somebody you received your blessing I know this message is not for everybody and that's fine but somebody you received your blessing from God you received the baby you were praying for you received the marriage you were praying for you got your house you got your car you got your job it's somebody you got something god said don't feel like just because you got your blessing now all of a sudden you don't need him no more he will still be waiting for you to pray to him at night. Yes, he will. He will still be looking forward to you telling him thank you in the morning. Yes, he will. He will still be looking forward to you counseling with him during the day. Yes, he will. God said he is not going anywhere and he don't want you to be going anywhere. This is a lifelong relationship that y'all got going on. You have made a covenant with God. God said you belong to him and he is not looking forward to you disappearing and going anywhere. Ain't no need for you to feel as though um, the only time that you can speak to God and the only time you can deal with God is when you have some kind of motive. Don't do God like that. Don't do God like that. People don't like being done like that. Don't nobody like somebody that only called them when they need something. So God said he is not interested in just speaking to you when you need something. He want to talk to you after you got it. He want to hear about it. Do, do you like it? Does it work out well? Are there any problems going on? He, he still want to hear from you. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.